Hi, this is Phil from SkiTalk.com here with U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Famer Darren yeah. Rawls, and we are going to talk about the new Atomic Redster Q9.8. Dimensions on this ski in the reference 173 are 134 in a tip, 84 and a half, and 118.8 in the tail. I mean, some of those numbers are kind of going down the rabbit hole, but we're, let's use some round numbers in this, in that also that Atomic scales the sizing of their skis. So as that ski gets shorter and longer, we're, those dimensions are also going to change. In the 173 here, we've got actually a relatively short 14.4 meter radius. So we've got a ski that's extremely reactive and quick on the snow. Now that's all well and good as far as for skiing out the mountain. We've got the design here, which I refer to as a wide, narrow ski. We've got technology that comes over from their Redster skis, and that's why we got this guy here, is to talk about that technology that was brought in here to make this ski so much fun as a mid 85 millimeter wide ski. Darren? Yeah, Phil, well, I mean, obviously it's like gaining some like aspects from the Redster race ski. Yep. And race ski just needs to be strong, powerful, smooth, you want to, you don't want to feel any like vibration, and that's exactly what they've implemented into this um, with the Q 9.8. Yep. And it's to me like this would be a really fun ski just to lay up on edge, leaving rails down the mountain, and uh, something that can make you feel like you're kind of a racer, right? Yeah. Yep. And you get be on top of it. I mean, it's but it's picking it up. You can feel the weight, the durability of that ski, and it's just. Um, it's 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 a close feel to a race ski, but just has that like really wide tip stability, or it adds stability and everything. Yeah. But just the radius is impressive, right? Like a 14 meter radius. You can oh, that's snap some tight turns off. Really tight for a ski yeah. in this range here, and again, fully cambered, no early rise. So I mean, this ski isn't making any excuses out there in the hill. It expects you to come along for the oh, ride. Yeah. And then these plates here, the Revo Shock yep. plates. You know, that's kind of something that. Atomic on the Redster side, or the race side, have like used these little plates to help with the dampening. Just really, you just quiet the ski down, and uh, yeah, just it's nice where that technology from race trickles down to production skis that are just easier to ski. Yep. No, they did a good job here, and we brought along actually Darren's favorite, one of Darren's favorite skis. I'm not going to pitch and hold you in, and that is the Maverick 100. And actually, if you take a look at both of these skis, graphics-wise, there's definitely some similarity, and you've got a family here. This would be a great two-ski quiver, somebody. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could say, you know, for daily skiing, this is my favorite ski. Yeah. I, I had this up on the mountain probably, like, you know, 80% of the time. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just it's something that's, like, off-piste, powder, ski touring for me, any backcountry. And then um, just charging anything off piece. Mm -hmm. Where this Redster um, 9.8Q is just be like all on piece ski for me. Yep. And so it is like a great kind of you know two squeak ski quiver where you hear this race kind of feel. You can really lay it over, just tipping it up and have such strong you know like stable feeling in yeah. turn. And then another like the Maverick 100 Ti just to go out and yeah and be more playful. And again, coming from that Redster family, they did bring over the X12 and X14 bindings, so you definitely have some of that race feel there. So it comes down to who is the Q9.8 going to be for? It's definitely for that strong skier that has really strong technical skills that's going to rip out there on the hill. Now, who is it not for? Maybe lighter, a little more finesse skiers, but don't worry. Atomic offers this same mold in the X, um, the Q7, which is going to be a little more compliant of a ski. It's going to be a little torsionally softer lengthwise, tor uh, and torsionally laterally, and also softer lengthwise, and just be a little more versatile of a ski, which is going to be a great East Coast ski also. So, but thanks a lot, Darren, for being involved in this and talking about the skis. And remember, folks, skiing is fun. To read the full review of the ski, please go to skitalk.com and click on the review tab. Please also hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more reviews and other ski-related content and add thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, follow skitalk.com on all of our social media channels.
please ask yourself, do you know where your 10 millimeter socket is right now?